Hi guys, I'm traveling to Europe for two weeks with only a carry-on. In this video, I'm just going to be packing all of my things. I'm going to show you what bags I'm taking, how I'm going to fit all of my stuff in these bags because I am not a capsule wardrobe girl. But I'm going to France and then Italy. Starting with the luggage. This is the luggage that I have. She is nothing special but at the same time very special. I've had this luggage for like a decade now. She is just a very, very small size. This is my carry-on. Choosing the right carry-on is so important because with this one trip i'm going to be taking four flights in total and then two planned train rides where british airlines lets you take up to 22 kilograms in your carry-on ryanair only allows up to 10 kilograms and that is a really big difference so definitely if you are traveling and taking multiple different airlines look into all of the restrictions ahead of time thankfully this luggage fits the size requirements for both of the airlines i'm going to get my clothes and things that i want to put in here and we're going to start packing starting with the clothes that i'm going to be taking for two weeks i'm picking two pairs of pajamas so this is just a top and some bottoms and then this is a pajama set that is pretty light and two pairs of pajamas i think for two weeks is pretty good my god that is already taking up one eighth of this for bottoms i'm taking three different kinds of pants these first two are just linen pants that i got very recently from old navy linen pants are going to be so good for europe i got them in black and this off-white beige color and then also i'm taking a pair of blue jeans this is mainly for my taylor swift's concert outfit the other two bottoms i'm going to be taking are these two long skirts this white tiered maxi skirt brown maxi skirt next i have these tank tops i have this yellow one very cute white tank top it is so many black one that has some lace on it this double layered white one this blue one this one which is actually a matching set with something i'm going to show later and this brown one now going into normal tops i have this t-shirt from cotton on i think it's called like a baby doll top another baby doll top but in green i have this green soft t-shirt ish thing i have a basic white t-shirt and a basic black t-shirt and then this striped green collared shirt and then this is where i feel that i should probably not take as much as i want to take but i have a ton of boleros this one one which is a very similar color but it ties in the front this goes with the tank top that i showed earlier then i have if it's slightly chillier this pretty light sweater green long sleeve cover up this purple one this other <laughs> off-white one and then this one which is like another shirt and also i want to point out i have this pair of socks i'm going to be packing socks and underwear separately like not in the video let me show you what the luggage looks like right now with just the clothes piled on top like it's a mountain maybe i should use a packing cube i don't even have packing cubes but wow this feels insane This is one side, and I still have this entire side. For shoes, the main sneakers that I'm going to be wearing around are my Reebok Club something. And then the other pair of shoes I'm going to take are these sandals. They have Velcro, which I really like. I like my ankles to be strapped in. The other things I'm packing in my carry-on are hair tools. I'm taking this mini straightener and then this hair waver. Both of these are dual voltage. I have a travel adapter for Europe and this product will work in Europe and so will this one. I think that is it for what's going to go in this luggage as of now. Actually, this is pretty good if this is all that's going in because this half of the luggage is only has the shoes and the hair supplies. I'm going to try to close this and it should be able to close. Wait. I may have done too well. This is my luggage. My carry-on is packed. Next, this is the bag that I'm going to be carrying around in Europe. This is the Uniqlo crossbody bag. One, I'm going to keep my Canon camera in there because I plan on vlogging trip. I'm also going to have my wallet. So this is just a mini, very slim wallet i got online i'm going to be using apple pay on my phone my portable charger i love this portable charger i don't have it right now but my passport this is a passport holder case thing so i have this mini fan so i just need to remember to charge this but this mini fan it is so compact like that's so good so i'm gonna take this and then tiktok light of course because nighttime in paris nighttime by the eiffel tower like 
I want to glow and I want to make sure we all get really good pictures. And the last thing is a Wi-Fi egg. In Europe, I can't use my phone. I know some people get a eSIM for their phone, but my phone carrier doesn't let me do that, which is really stupid. So I'm paying for a Wi-Fi egg that I'm going to pick up when I'm in Paris. So those are all of the things that are going to go in this personal bag that I'm going to be carrying around every day. And I'll put all of those things again on the screen. I don't think I'm going to take any other bag, to be honest. If anything, I want to buy a tote bag in Europe. And then if I when I buy that tote bag, I'll probably keep things like water bottles or shopping for the day. But the important stuff is going in this bag. And on that note, even my phone, my phone case right now has like the strap on it. So no one can like grab my phone out of my hand. But because we're not trying to get pickpocketed. And I don't know how intense it is. Like I see some people and they're like, oh, it's fine. You guys are exaggerating. It's not that bad. But I see other people who are like, oh, a man tried to help me get my luggage on the train and he stole my wallet out of my back pocket. So things like that makes me nervous. And I just would rather be prepared than not prepared. And I'd rather be aware that it could happen to me than be blindsided and then have something like my passport stolen because what do you do in that case one more thing that i'm going to keep in this bag is this set of keys this pair of keys is for my luggage so i got this off of amazon and it said that it was tsa approved but i have no idea how what that means because what kind of locks aren't tsa approved there we go yeah now i just have to make sure i don't lose this key something else i'm still deciding is all the jewelry that i want to take i usually share my jewelry with my other girl cousins but i have all of my little rings in here and i also have this pearl sticker this is part of my taylor swift concert outfit colorful hair clips which i definitely won't take all of them i just need to decide which one hair accessories and then i have more necklaces earrings and i just need to choose which ones that i want to take with me I got this personal item bag from Amazon. It is honestly basically the size of my luggage, like my actual carry-on. It's essentially, this is how they compare in size. It's just a little bit shorter. And this was like, I think $30. I literally Amazon primed it today because I realized that all the other bags I have are either too small or too big to fit the size requirements. And this is also too big to fit the size requirements, but I, it's just i'm so nervous if they stop me i will just pay for the extra and say that it's my fault but that won't be too upsetting to me but yeah i just i don't look at it it has so much space and then it has a separate laptop section here then it has extra pockets in the front like this different pocket and this pocket then it has more pockets here so a pocket there and then this is what I really like. It has the strap so you can put it on top of your luggage and it has padding here and like all over here, which I think will be really nice if I'm carrying this around for a long time because I don't want my back to hurt. In this, I am putting basically all of my tech and all of the things that would be nice to have access to the day of. So I have this mesh bag. This mesh bag has things such as all the jewelry that I'm taking. This is jewelry and hair accessories. And then I have this little pouch which just has two pads because there is a possibility of me getting my period two pads just in case a hair comb a hair clip powder a dermaplaning razor an actual razor deodorant toothbrush everything else in here is makeup so i'll just go through the solid makeup that i'm taking i'm taking one eyeshadow palette with the elf halo glow setting powder this nars lipstick in turned on color pop eyeshadow glitter triangle puff color lip pencil mascara highlighter eyebrow pencil, eyeliner, eyelash curler, blush brush, a powder blush, puff contour stick, sharpener, powder bronzer, this thing that is like um, after you use mascara it separates your lashes. The other thing that's going in my personal item bag is my liquids bag. I have oil cleanser in here, my concealer, my foundation, color corrector because it's a liquid, a lip gloss, a mini toothpaste, little silicone jars. I have four of them here. In this one, I have face cleansers. And then I think in this one, I have Centella sunscreen from Skin1004 because it's a liquid sunscreen, but it is the best sunscreen, a hair serum. And in the other one, I have the viral TikTok moisturizer for people with psoriasis and eczema because I have psoriasis and I just wanted to test it out and then actually this spray bottle is the color wow product that makes your hair like water resistant because 
my hair really does not do well with humidity i am just really aware that i worked so hard to get this nourish foundation that actually matches my skin tone and now i'm going to go to a place where the sun sets at like 9 p.m and probably get tanner again and then my foundation won't match me so i'm just gonna try my best to reapply sunscreen throughout the day and hopefully my skin tone won't change too much the other items i'm putting in my personal bag is this my sd card reader my hard drive so i can move files from my camera or my phone to my macbook then i have this case which just has my canon camera battery charger a battery and then another battery I have this charger which is a charger for this portable fan and it works for my other portable fan and it works for my portable charger this one my airpods this travel adapter that's supposed to work in all of europe so it should work in france and in italy because um, it's a universal adapter i got it in the color pink and i think it's really cute i'm taking concert earplugs because i'm very cognizant of the fact that i haven't even been to that many concerts but i think my hearing is going away and lastly i have this medicine bag which doesn't have a lot i just have dramamine for the plane because i do not want to be conscious while flying i get motion sick on planes and i do not like the plane air and then when they start bringing out food i don't like the scent of food that they're bringing out so i'd rather just be asleep through most of the flight then pepto-bismol for obvious tummy issues then i have more stomach medicine then i have digestive enzyme medicine and then i have some band-aids in here everything else advil whatever we will just deal with the pain all of this is going in my personal item bag i'm gonna fill it right now and see how much gets taken up this and then this you know how does this stuff get filled so quickly and again the last thing would be my macbook and macbook charger which i'll just put in this front pocket but i think that's it and god damn why do i have so much stuff now i have my carry-on luggage i have this personal bag which has the daily bag i'm going to carry around the only things i have oh my god my hair looks really messy the only things i have left to pack are quite literally the top that i'm still making for taylor swift's concert this is what i have so far is still being worked on as you can tell it's barely there but i'm gonna finish it today and then the other things that i don't have packed that i probably won't be packing and are all my bracelets the brace oh or just the bracelets that I made for the Eras tour. But everything else is put away and I am so tired. I am so scared. I, I just, I feel so nervous about being stopped by TSA for something or whatever. But I'm telling myself that I have money. Like I work a job, so I have money. So it's unideal to be to have to pay for something like for your bag for like a personal item being bigger than the restrictions or something like that it's not the most ideal situation but if it does happen it will be fine that is what i'm telling myself let's hope that i can do this my goodness um i'm really chancing it but whatever i'm talking to myself girl but yeah this is what i got let's go to europe mm -hmm.